<laughs> Mike's on, Mags. Behave. No word. Yeah. <laughs> well, I thought you didn't put him on the couch very well. He says his rear end, his front end is not on the couch. He really likes food, and he knows that Daisy. Oh, Come over here. Come up here. Come on. Get up here and lie down. Come on. Come on. The couch. Right now. You can figure it out. Come around. Out. Right there. Right Make work. You're fine. It's because he gets way up the other end, and he doesn't fit. Oh, Meg. Come here. Come here, Meg. Come on. Meg's. Up here. Whoa. Right there. Down. Down. Thank you. Stay. There you go. Are you happy? It looks like a couch your size. <laughs> All right. Silly question, but at home I put my dog's poo in bags and into the garbage. How do you dispose of it? We do the same thing. Um, we have a lot of those big thank you bags, the market basket ones. Um, we just bag them up, tie them, drop them, the golf carts come by, grab them, and put them in the dumpster. And the dumpster guy comes on Mondays and disappears. <laughs> so. And at my house, I live in the woods, so we bag it, we put it in a big bucket, and my mom tosses it in the woods. So. <laughs> Not with the plastic. Not with the, just the poop. No, no bags at my house. How's Magnus? Magnus is good. Um, still on our diet. He's lost almost four pounds, so we're getting there. <laughs> when you have a dog with raised fur along its back, what's the best way to go about approaching them? I would say no touch, no talk, no eye contact. Um, just kind of sit down, ignore the dog, let the dog come to you. When it does come to you, don't, like... <laughs> do one of those because you're going to scare it anyway so um, just kind of sit back let them come to you yes there is sound I heard it um, good afternoon <laughs> that's funny is there a difference between training a male and a female puppies um, that's funny I've always tried to sit back and think about the difference I think that a lot of the females how do I say it in a nice way? <laughs> the boys are much more laid back, I guess. Um, kind of like, oh, I'll do whatever you want me to do, and the girls kind of push the limits. With me, anyways. I don't know. All dogs are different. Um, how is no over... <laughs> Hi, Rose Tongue. You're funny. Over-anxious grandma type. How is Noelle doing any signs of being in heat? She has beautiful babies. Um, Noelle is doing great. Um, no signs of her being in heat at all. She likes to mount Walter a lot, but that's just a dominant thing. <laughs> so that happens a lot. But she does have really nice puppies. Um, I'm excited for her to come into heat. Not that we need more babies, but um, it is fun when we get to breed her. Uh, hi. Last week, one of the trainers got a quick list of all that has been done that day to train and I was impressed. Just wondering what you and Carlene might think of, might think of getting one of those youngsters following around with a ca video camera and then doing a short video for the folks to see. So we interested know. to hear about the training. We, we got our hands full. We got a lot going on, yeah. It's so hard. It is hard to get, so, and then it's also not that much fun with someone following you around with a video camera. Like we, <laughs> we just got used to these cameras um but to have just the recent things we've been doing with the cameras in your face and you get the puppy to do like when I was with Dwyer in the arena and we were going up the stairs I don't know if you guys saw that crew was filming us and he had never done the one step on the stairs before so they had me do it with him and I we did it once and I was so proud of him like hey do it again and I did it again. Okay, do it again. I think they had me do it 15 times and I'm like I don't want to do that over and over again <laughs> with a it was really, um, it was fun. I mean, we'll do it for stuff like that, but I just think having a, we've had someone come talk to us about a documentary, and it was, Yeah. they wanted GoPros on us. They wanted us, like, The thing we have around. coming up that we're going to yeah. try and do is we're going to try and figure out how to get the donkey on camera. The, the little, the new one? No, the one that's pregnant. Did you hear? Yeah, no, I meant the new one that's inside, the big yeah. one. Yeah. Um, and I'm, I'm trying to think if I could... Right on that, as you go in the arena from the barn, the door on the right hand side, if we could make a stall involving that, it would be on camera. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, it's not going to be on camera because we don't have. 
But would, wouldn't the dogs be in the arena with the... Well, you know? that's the other thing. We yeah. have a whole bunch of plywood coming for that new barn we're building. We could easily put up eight-foot plywood mm -hmm. all around it. Yeah. Uh, and leave a hole for the camera to go through. Yeah. Put an electric fence in front of it. Or yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that would stop that. Problem. Yeah. Cause we do a lot in the arena, especially when it's those rainy days. Yeah. I mean, you, you know, yeah. you keep the dogs away from it with an electric wire, and that would not be a bad thing. Yeah. Damn fools! They go touch it. That's their fault. Yeah. Yeah. I know Magnus is cute. From a, he's a cute boy. Say hi to everybody, Max. <laughs> How is Addie doing? She's one of my favorites. Um, when I, she's great. She's um, she's come a long way. She was really timid. Her and uh, Tumblr were, I guess, the two in the group that were shy. Um, Addie's come a lot, come along really well. Uh, Tumblr still, you'll see her in the morning with feedings. You guys probably have a good laugh. Um, Tumblr has to be roped to come back inside. She just stands behind the feeder. She doesn't understand. Um, so. We've been working on her. She'll recall great, but not when it's time to go back in from breakfast. So every morning, um, you'll How see come? someone. Has somebody not been her. feeding her a cookie? In the I don't know. She's just she's always been like that. So we'll see. She's better though. Mm. Magnus doesn't get enough press coverage. Tell us about him. Uh, what do you want? What do you want to know? Uh, Magnus is hundred and fifty-seven pounds. He's <laughs> I think he's three. He must have just turned three or two. I can't remember. Um, he's pretty. He's he's darkened up a lot. Um, looking back on baby pictures of him, he was that really light merle color, that light, light gray, like um, khaki and asher, like that really light. And then it just all went away. So <laughs> he turned into more of a black dog. I would say he's black more than merle now. But... He's pretty. I had to bring him up with me today because uh, Walter, Walter's not having a great day, and he was up all night with diarrhea, um, so he's aggravated because he's tired. <laughs> and he's, we put him all, I put him all in the car, which I normally do, and I come in to do the trainer talk, and I sat there for a minute. Walter was just, anytime Magnus looked at him, he was growling at him, so I didn't want to leave him in the car, so Magnus got to come up. It was either Magnus or Walter, so <laughs> we went with him. <laughs> We went with Magnus. Um, dearest Carlene and Megan, could you make a temporary shelter for Mom Donkey to be in the used car lot on camera? Just a thought. Which used car lot? Which Here? one is? The, which one's the used car lot? Oh, oh, the the V bed with the yeah, yeah. The camera does go there. We could put them there after the baby's born, probably. Yeah, but well, we, we yeah we need a we need indoor. We could. Yeah. Well, we're, just, we're in the process. We're thinking about we're it. Because otherwise, we could get a GoPro and film it, and then see. Every time I do something like that, I don't know how to ship the film out. Yeah. You know, I push all these buttons, and it's it's the wrong file size or the wrong kind, or it's too big or too yeah. Big. Can't cope with it. Yeah. The uh, can't cope. The um, horses we've had that have been pregnant here in the past. We've known they were pregnant, and then I've come in, and there's just been a baby in there. So I don't even know a lot of it. Like, it was literally just standing there, and I called Janine, and I was like, there's a baby. She's like, oh, my gosh. Like, and she, everybody came over, and it was that little yeah. skinny little thing. It just stood They're there. fine. Yeah. I mean, they don't usually need any help. So I don't know if we'll be able to film the actual, because I don't know if it will happen. Well, usually you get a bubble about that big out. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. <laughs> Never used a Kong. What's the best thing to put inside? Uh, that's a good question for Scooter Karen. She stuffs all of our Kongs. Uh, she does small treats and peanut butter. I know people that do fried eggs in there. Um, peanut butter just in the opening. Peanut butter just in the opening to seal the hole. You don't, because when the peanut butter gets all down inside, it's really tough to keep yeah. it clean. Um, they don't have thumbs. They don't have thumbs. Yeah, that's right. Good. Thank you, Greg. Thank you, Greg. Um, little tiny treats, stuff like that. <coughs> mm, let's see. Anything else? The object with the Kongs is to clean them. They really need soap and water. Yeah, Kongs can get... Hot soap and water. They can get pretty messy. They can get pretty bad, yeah. Got a lot of dogs out today in the big world. So that was good. Everyone did really well. We had some some that don't like the car. Um, they're getting over it slowly. Um, 
Perhaps Explore can help you with the temporary new camera for the donkey pen. Donkeys like to hide to fold. Oh, interesting. Depends on the donkey. Yeah. Would Explore sponsor another camera for the birthing of the donkey? I don't know. We'll find out. We'll We're getting to the point where, with all the sound and all the video, We've only got 13 avenues out of here. Oh, we're, yeah, we're, we're kind of maxing out on our wi our yeah. wireless capability. Yeah. That's, that's You're about welcome. $800 a month to get another yeah. whole drive and set in here. That would be a lot. Right. And you may miss it anyway. Yeah, you might miss it. But if, if I could rig it so that we could see on that arena camera, then it would be helpful to me to be able to sit up here by the fire. Yeah. And not have to go down there like I have to go down there. Yeah. I don't know. We'll see what we we'll can do. We'll figure it out. All right. It's mail call time. I will see you guys later. Okay, Megs. You ready to go? You're, there's no food in there. <laughs> you thought you meant it for supper. Yeah. Like, Come oh, on, Megs. Oh, he can smell food. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, Magnus. Let's go home. Bye, everybody. Bye, everybody. Bye everybody. Look like it, though, right? Just I'll have you watch him on a warm day. You'll see it. Okay. This kind of does what it needs. Okay. <laughs> okay, it's time to go over there. Mm-hmm. Mm. <laughs> okay. Whatever she's cooking, so it's very good. She's cooking. Does it smell good in there? It does. Do you want this? I don't want it. Oh, yes, I do want it, don't I? I have a new system. This is one of my very favorite tables in the whole world. I got it at a restaurant. <coughs> it was closing up. It was a... Here we go. I'm all set. Maybe. There we go. Okay, this was mail 229. Samuelson from Chesterfield, New Jersey. It's yeah, funny, she's, she's picked up that from that, from a riot. <laughs> hanging on to that thing. There you go. One chicken brick and a dollar up. Okay. From Jane Samuelson, New Jersey. You can have that part. And this has to go in the bank. Can't find the bank. You lost the bank. Okay. On the right. Which is the right? Oh, that's where you're going. Okay. That's not what I was looking for. Okay, and two dollar ups. There we go. And you got that. Oh, the dot. That's got to go in, in the chicken brick department. Hmm. And then we have a thank you note from the school that was just here. King Reed School. Oh, nice. mm. <laughs> Thank you for welcoming us to work on your farm this winter. We really enjoyed spending time with the staff and volunteers, of course, and of course the puppies. The service dog project has inspired us to research more ways we can help and special thanks to the kind staff who entertain all of our questions. It's going to be sad not being able to see the dogs anymore. We've all gotten a bit attached to them. We've learned about what it takes to train and <coughs> interact with excuse me, with service dogs, especially not to play catch or teach them to sit, which is interesting because that's what one usually does with them. Not to, uh, also, not to let them lick your face or jump on you, which is hard because they're so cute. We wish you all the best. As you carry on this important work and hope to 
continue our relationship with you in the future. Sincerely, the Pingree School Winter Service Team. Oh, that's very nice. Well, they can always come back. They can always come back? Yep, they can come back in an unofficial capacity. They can come back and shovel, shovel snow anyway, if we ever get any. Although I'm not really looking forward to it, you know, it could happen. I'm getting these spoiled. Getting spoiled, big time. Please put me down for two chicken bricks. Two chicken bricks, okay. Victoria and Sienna having a great time working and playing together. Oh, that's Gary Dumas. Okay, what's, who's got... Okay, so I have to put this in the... I don't have a pen. Oh, and I don't, and I don't have an arm. Really, I can't pull that drawer open. <clears throat> Two. Two chicken bricks. That goes in there. And then you can remember. Gary Dumas. He's got our dog, remember? Oh, yeah, okay. You can have that, too. Hmm. Winter River Environmental Septic Service. Well, we don't need to have that right now. Parker, Portsmouth, New Hampshire. Do you want to go outside? I think she wants something else, actually. Go out. They're watching. Go ahead. There you go. Okay. Oh, he's 20 years old. Okay. This is an application. Wow. Huh. Okay, well, we'll have to let them process that. That's got to go in the drawer over there someplace. There we go. Oh my. Yeah, I guess that's enough. Greenwich, Connecticut. Well, that could happen. Okay. She's apparently a doctor, so she gave me a whole a whole bunch of stuff I'm not going to understand. <laughs> just give me a, just give me a one diagnosis. I'll work on it. You know, huh? That's going to have to sit there and read that whole thing. You know, yeah, you're going to put that in the. Now what are we doing? Books. That's right. it from there. Yeah, I don't have any more. Go on. A, a new heating blanket. That's it. <laughs> That's it. So we don't need to do that. We can take it out of here and go put this in my room. Maybe or something like that. There we go. You got it? Yep. I, I, I don't like being cold. And the dogs ate my last one. There we go. That's the fast going. Next. She's looking a little more alert than mm -hmm. like what is in here? Nadine. Camera person, Nadine Mayo. From Georgia. From Georgia. Okay. Oh my. There's a lot of funny things in here. Wow. 
Okay. Huh. Okay, that could go over someplace else. And there's stuff underneath it. Are you gonna pick it up? I do. There we go. And then we have one of those. And then we have some of these. There we go. And then we have this thing. I don't know what this one is. Very nice. Pillow. What are you going to do with it? Uh, she's taking away. You're going to take it away already. <laughs> okay. Let's go put it over there. Maybe Bailey wants to sit with it. That's not going to happen, right? She took it. There wasn't any no cookies. Not so. all. She needs the cookies. Oh, that box back? Huh? No. Oh, okay. She'd like to have a cookie. Maybe if you got some cookies over there, we could... We'll get your cookies. Just a minute. You wait. There we go. He's coming. He has it. She likes she likes a crunch. Mm -hmm. She didn't like her food wet. I think she likes it better dry now. Oh, my bottle of water was over there on the wood pile. On the wood pile. That'll be good. That'll be good. You're getting a refill. Oh, good. Okay. So, oh, you're going to read these things to me? I'm going to go sit by the fire again. Yeah, let me finish up the board here. Oh, okay. down to the barn. Dinner, dinner was looking very good. It was looking good? Yep. Look at that puppy with that stuff still. <laughs> she has learned that from Ryan. So put your mouth around it as far as you can make it go. Blue Penguin said, I think Staley wants to get the basket. I thought so too. We were trying to get the way we didn't because we already did the mail call thing. Uh -huh. Yeah, but she's broken in before halfway through. I know. Go well, ahead. It's, <laughs> it's right behind you. It should be on some there. It's still, it's still what she wants. Go ahead. No, no, no. no. It, you don't get the food. Oh, food. The food is in that thing. There should be a spoon in there, too. No spoon. Is there a spoon? No spoon. Okay, there's a spoon on my desk that I ate with that she can eat with. Okay. Okay, you She's gotten to count on this as part of her dinner. Yeah. Oh, where are you going? Babe, give me yeah. this. Bailey, Bailey, it's yeah, got food. Yeah, food over there. Go, oh, food, over there. Here yeah. we go. She doesn't like the puppy. Right. 
you can stand to behave a little better. There we go. She jumps in your lap. You don't want it. Mm -hmm. She doesn't get it. I love the way Gretchen's entire rear end wiggles when she <laughs> wags. How was Carlene's day? Carlene's day was fine. Carlene went to two stores today. That's that's pushing it with me. Which two? Costco and a grocery store. Yep. How is the parking lot coming along and the other construction? Parking lot's doing fine. The other construction, we I'm trying to figure out how to have the donkey have a stall sort of on camera. And I've already ordered the lumber for that that uh, run-in shed that we're building out behind for Janine's horses. Um, and they will deliver it at any time. They wanted they wanted me to buy it before the January first. Um, they it had to be, they wanted it on their old book. So I've I've got this big pile of lumber ordered, which includes a lot of plywood and texture one eleven. And if I had that delivered, we would have enough four by eight sheets of plywood to barricade the dogs away from the donkey, mm -hmm. which we would have to do. The other way to barricade them away is to run a hot wire. And then they would learn. Yeah. And then I would not think that was a bad thing because then they learned to stay away from the donkey in general. No. Don't no. No. Put that back there. And smack her nose if she's in there. You don't already told her no. No. Yeah, nurse. No. Nothing. Okay, he comes. Yeah, if you move it away, you're not teaching her. Okay. What we want to do is to teach them you've said no, don't you know, I don't go here. See, and she knows now. She's wiser. Perhaps Gretchen would be a quick study on the yuppie puppy if she likes a good crunch. If you can keep Riot away from it. <laughs> That's the trouble. There's just too many dogs here. Yeah. They work the flipper really well. The spin the bottle deal. You had worked with her on the yuppie, I think. I can't remember. How's Bentley feeling? Bentley was nervous in the store. He's nervous lately. Yeah. And it seemed to be, it seemed to be that when we got out of the car, the, the floor was wet. I mean, like, you know, concrete was wet. Mm -hmm. That bothered him. Because it was wet that day. Oh, yeah. And I don't know whether that's what he noticed, or I don't know what he was noticing, but he was nervous the whole time. 
and he was nervous in the regular supermarket too. And then the supermarket, coming out of the supermarket, has a double automatic door. And I, we had a little trouble getting through that. Did you expect it to be this hard to get him back into things? I had no idea. I had no, I had no, no background of this at all. Yeah. The problem is I don't know when something is going to trigger. Yeah. It's, it's a PTSD sort of thing. You don't know when it's going to happen. And it's hard to figure out what it is that's upsetting him sometimes. But the whole time we were in the supermarket, he panted. He behaved, but he panted. Mm -hmm. Do you see progress, though, or is it just kind of an ongoing? No, I haven't seen any progress, yeah. really. It's too bad. What's for supper that smells so good? Well, I now have a new thing. I bought a book when I was out with Gwen. Dump dinners. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> and what I'm trying to do is get it organized so that Donna can prepare this and have it all ready to sit in the or put it in the oven and we'll just turn it on at the beginning of mail call so at the end of mail call we'll have dinner. Mm -hmm. I Donna think it's had to go to a doctor's appointment today, so yeah. Grace is going. Grace, Grace took over. And it is ready, I think. Let's see, have you gotten approval to build a new hospital for dogs? The infirmary. As far as I know, it's moving along. The fellow that I have, that I talk to is, is Jeff Masterson. <clears throat> um, he's a big contractor in the area, and he knows all the, all the Ipswich people. And he says it's a new building inspector, who he says is very nice, just very accurate. Well, I can deal with accurate. It's, it's the ones that are just trying to run me over the coals that I just mm. don't need to deal with. And I'm ready to fight anybody else who gives me a hard time. Um, he isn't, he's insisting on having an architect draw it up. So Masterson has an architect that works for him, so mm. he's drawing it up. It's only one, one floor building. I can't really see the need for an architect, thank you. But I know the name. I haven't personally Masterson? dealt with him. Yeah. They've had heavy equipment here. Yeah. They're the ones that tore down the arena. Oh, okay. It's a, so they've worked a, with you before. He's a big out. We have a dead horse or something. He comes and buries it. Yeah. Let's see. <laughs> the dogs sure do know the smell of an open can of food. The sound and smell. Yeah. That's for sure. The pop on screen for mail call has the longest ears. Hush puppy ears. That must be Gretch. Oh. We have questions for Devin. With larger dogs, should you let them have a rest period before and after? To help prevent bloat. I don't know what prevents bloat. Nobody knows what prevents bloat. You hear all sorts of things, and certainly you know, resting before or after dinner, well, you know, who knows? Mm -hmm. Back when I was a kid, because of the concept of horses eating and getting colic, they thought running around after dinner was what was causing polio. Polio? Polio. That, you know, nobody knew what was causing it. Uh -huh. So they had this very strict regime. You, you know, you ate dinner, you went and sat down. You didn't do anything for an hour. Hmm. And I'm sure that comes from, with horses, it can be a problem. Yeah. Um, I, I, who knows whether it is with dogs. I, we don't make any special preparation for them not to run around. They seem to naturally want to just settle and take a nap. Well, they got a full tummy. Yeah. You know. That wolf thing again. If they're full, now they can rest. Did Bentley go out with you? Yes, he did. Caroline, did you ever imagine in your new wildest dreams that when the cams went live, SDP would become what it has today? No, I had no idea. <laughs> <laughs> no idea. It's not all. It's not all bad. No. 
like I needed to know when that donkey came here today, and about the six people told me. She got here August 30th. Oh, right, yeah. I saw that in the comments. See, I don't have to keep these kind of records. I, I can't find I, my menu. They tell me where it is. I knew they came around the end of the summer, but I could not remember yeah. that. So, so we're looking at certainly before she get, you know, before August. Mm -hmm. Are there any other donkeys around here? You know, I, I could have sworn I heard another donkey brain somewhere else. Well, there's two of them there now. No, well, off in the distance. Oh, the dis no. A surrounding. There's not any around within a mile. Yep. Yeah. Wow, something did a good imitation. <laughs> well, the ones we have, you can hear them. Well, I was in the stall with him. Oh. It came from outside. Oh. You can hear, they they tell me they can hear them at the gas station, which yeah. is... Across the pond. Across the, what, air, one air mile away, maybe? Uh-huh. Blue Penguin asks, is there, is there anything that the CPs could send you, such as the moving rugs, fluffy stumps, pet tabs? Uh, I think we're really well, we're well equipped for the moment. Stuff for the donkeys, etc. The, the donkeys aren't going to need anything. We, we just have to rig this stall, which... She I'm, says, I know you said hold on the chocolate. Yeah, please, the chocolate <laughs> hold. Yes, I got to... I, everybody sent me too much chocolate after that accident, and I just gained too much weight. <coughs> How did you pick the name Crazy Acres? I didn't. I don't know who did. Just one of those things that evolved. It just happened. Yeah, kind of like naming a donkey. Yeah. It just happens. I bought some fleas as it was on sale. Can you use it for blankets? What is this? Somebody bought some fleece. We can always use blankets. We can always use blankets. Well, what we're doing with it, if it's odd pieces, uh, we give them to um, Jackie and Jackie and who we'll make quilts out of them. Yeah, I would blank. They do a nice job. It's nice. Oh, is Frenzy still yelping? Friends of Yelp twice today, around noontime. Huh. Nothing. I couldn't see what did it. Yeah, nothing triggered. Oh boy, that's a long one. Seeing the pup trying to get the empty can reminds me of a dog someone I know has. It is terrible for raiding bins. Her solution is to have no bins in the house. To me that's crazy. Dogs will never learn to stay out of bins. Same as dogs stealing food off worktops, which the dog also does. Mine don't, as they've been taught not to. They were not allowed in the kitchen unsupervised until they had learned not to steal. Yeah. The youngster puts her paws up on the side right near the sink at times to look out the window if she hears someone but I've spied on her, and even when there's food left over right there, she knows not to try to steal it, even when it's favorite, like huh. salmon or eggs. Very good. Yeah, that's a good one. Well done. I bet her children behave well, too. <laughs> People with well-behaved dogs generally have well-behaved children. Someone says, you seem to be walking, walking better since your shock. Since my what? Since your shock. Shock? Shock. Since you got oh, shock, shock, you seem to be walking better. I can't imagine why. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're recovering. Oh, okay. I, I, I pretty much lost the use of one arm. It's a little worrisome. Yeah. Have you been doing I mean, anything? Yeah, I, I use that ball thing and everything, which is fine. I can do this, but, but if, I, if, I, if, if something unusual happens, I go to grab a drawer or something. Ah! Mm-hmm. It's very painful. That's how it was with my shoulder. So, a lot of therapy. Uh, let's see. I have a doctor's appointment. Yep. This week, sometime. Specifically for that. Yeah, for the can. Good. Are the other donkeys spayed or neutered? No, but the little guy's got to be neutered pretty quick. Yep. Now, was he the little little one? Yeah. When, yeah. Okay. Uh, 
does Carlene still have the donkey ho horn on her golf cart? I do. Yeah. <laughs> I haven't heard that for a while. I, I have to carry a separate battery for it. That's oh, do you? <laughs> what kind of battery? It's just one one battery. It's like a, a small D-cell battery or something? No, it's one battery. Oh, yeah. One car battery. Oh, boy. The trouble is the golf carts are, have six six or eight batteries all hooked together. Uh-huh. What kind of canned food were you feeding? No, well, never mind. That's just something we had. Mm -hmm. The kind the dogs like. They do like it. Pro plan. Pro plan, that's good. Um, pro plan. Pro plan, pro yep. Plan. Pro plan's good. Made by Purina. Uh, is Frenzy visiting or living here? Frenzy's living here at the moment. Figure out what on earth the rear end is. No, exactly, whatever. Uh, been meaning to ask this. Do y'all ever use coupons? I always use and save between 53 and 76 percent. You know that nasty word, budget. That's from Blue Penguin. I'm generally not, I don't have any coupons, and I don't go out of my way to collect them. Because the secretarial time involved mm. is more expensive than, we just don't have the time. Is Devin here? Yeah. Well, not in the house. Okay. Well, speaking okay. of. Devin, what? People are thanking you for all the jobs you do around the farm here. Welcome. And someone Thank was you. wondering what the uniform you're wearing is. This? Yes. The Bruins. Boston Bruins. It has a hat to match. <laughs> Very stylish. Is it getting cold outside? Um, it is yeah. getting a lot colder. Is it yeah, it's dropping fast. Well, that seems to be it. Okay. That's it. Shall we say good night? How are we in the supper department? It's done. Done? Mm -hmm. Wow. It's starving. Did it look good? <laughs> <laughs> so microphone off. Microphone is off. Good night.